in the second quarter. But given some of the support that was available to SMEs and others, that number could actually look worse in the third quarter. What's Fiduce's expectation? Uh, first and foremostly, good afternoon to you, Nompo Malelo, and good afternoon to the viewers. Um, yes, um, you know, as your interview now with the statistician general had um, outlined, um, we are already sitting at a 30.1% uh, official figure for our unemployment rate in South Africa. And as they always say, the devil lies in the detail. Although um, the stats have been delayed for various reasons that have been outlined now by the SG, equally so, we are anticipating that the outlook is not going to be as good as what we had uh, expected. Um, stimulus packages have been on the table, but they are still very much that needs to be done in order to bring South Africa back to where it was pre-COVID levels. Mm. So what, as a federation, what have your observations been around the sector workers that you represent? We hear about big companies laying off staff, of course, but what are you seeing in terms of smaller, unknown companies? Nompo Malelo, it's absolutely scary. Um, we know for a fact right now that there are still sectors that are trapped in lockdown levels one and two. We speak about the hospitality sector, the tourism sector, and in particular, aviation tourism. Without those sectors having to have that continued cyclical economic effect. We are finding it very difficult, number one, to get South Africa back into gear. And yes, we have seen the statistics. We have seen the sheer frustration. We have seen people the numbers have just been coming in and we have seen reductions in membership stats and that is the hardship that we are having to endure here and unless greater intervention is brought on par by the South African government unfortunately those sectors are on their knees and they are requiring now more than ever greater commitment in terms of what is required but SMME is taking a dire knock and not even being able to recover to the pre-COVID-19 levels but many have seemed to have been forced to close their doors as a result of what we have been experiencing. Of course we're still awaiting a grand plan from the government on how the country is going to get out of the mess it's in just in terms of you know getting the economic growth situation up and running to try and create jobs and hopefully also retain jobs as well from your, where you stand what do you think needs to be happening we often hear that you know labor government business must talk with each other etc cetera, etc cetera. south africans are tired of talking what can happen on what needs to happen on the ground in order to activate economic growth and for jobs to you know to become the new normal well, there's, there's a couple of things that, that needs to happen. First and foremost, we need to start reinvesting back in into the South African economy. Um, we've seen the president, uh, by way of the protocols, the COVID-19 protocols, opening up intra-provincial travel. But we certainly need that stimulation in order to move beyond where we are. Um, you take a look at, for example, um, I'm going to focus once again on tourism. It is one of those sectors that are consistently driving, um, you know, as the National Development Plan had articulated, one of the main drivers of employment and economic growth. And unless we are going to be moving in that direction, unless we are going to be taking stock introspect of where it is that we are right now, we are not going to be making those gains that we require. So stimulus packages have been on the table. There's been supplementary budgets that, that have been tabled likewise, but we are not necessarily seeing that sheer political determination to move the process forward. We are all talking in terms of the social dialogue factors, but at this stage, what we need more than ever is the confidence, is uh, adherence to safety protocols to make sure that there are no violations, but most importantly, to make sure that the confidence and secondly, the reinvestment into the economy by the way of business as a major, as a major uh, interventionary factor can move us forward. Government sets the tone for the governance framework, but at the same time, uh, businesses would be in a good situation to advance on certain factors because it has not necessarily been all the sectors that have been in absolute dire straits. Some of the sectors have actually seen greater uh, 
positive spin-offs in terms of what the lockdown has brought about. Mm. And then just one last thing. Do you think that government is making a mistake around the whole alcohol, tobacco issue? It's been very controversial, of course, and there have been many columns uh, written about this issue. We Obviously, the purpose is uh, with the alcohol side is to avoid hospitals being overfilled, but we hear that the South African Medical Research Council has said actually uh, the capacity is sufficient, so that ban should actually be lifted and on the tobacco side, people who want to get smokes are getting them. So it almost seems like it's defeating the purpose because, of course, the fiscus isn't getting tax from these particular streams. Um, as, as you rightfully mentioned, Nompumalelo, it is a con it is a contentious matter. Um, you know, whether we're looking at the revenue being generated, as well as the scientific evidence being brought about by the World Health Organization and many others, but it requires careful juggling, careful consideration in terms of where we are moving forward to. What is important is for us to look at the entire holistic value chain in terms of that sector um, overall. So essentially contentious. It needs to be given the necessary introspection in terms of where we are, but at the same time, we do not want to be reversing the gains in terms of what has been brought about through the lockdown, and at the same time, we cannot ignore the, the global statistics and the global scientific data that is on par, but certainly so. We need to get South Africa moving forward, and it is a discussion that the sector needs to bring about in terms of moving many aspects in the positive direction. For now, um, we cannot go in a reverse trajectory. We need to make sure that the gains, that the job losses can be recapitalized on in order for us to be in that pre-COVID-19 levels and moving South Africa forward in terms of the policy positions that are on place. Rifta, thank you so much for your time. That was Rifta Ajam. She's the General Secretary at FEDUSA. Today, unions